Tyler, you guys had two scoring slumps at some inopportune times in that game. Um, when you guys do come up empty on a lot of possessions like that, just what, what's going wrong in your mind? <clears throat> just offense getting stagnant. Um, that's on the point guard. Um, can't put the blame on nobody else. It's on me. Uh, simply not, not um, executing like we're supposed to, and that's on me. Arthur, it looked like you guys defended their last possession pretty well. They just made the shot. How did you see it going? Well, I mean, he, he made a tough shot. I mean, if you look at his numbers of him shooting the three off the dribble, I mean, that's the shot that we want him to take. He just made it. So, good player, good shot. <coughs> Tyler, you're... Three obviously wasn't falling, but 24 points. Have you ever had a game where you scored 24 points without a, without a three? Um, yeah, it's, you know, I'm a, been around college basketball for a long time, so um, you got to find different ways to score the ball. But you know, it just wasn't enough. No matter how many points I had, uh, we didn't get the job done. So, what was allowing you to get to the basket, or was it just you decided to? Um, to I think teams are. Obviously, you know, trying to take the three away from me. Um, I haven't been really shooting it well off the bounce. And so, uh, you know, instead of settling, trying to get to the paint, and, um, you know, I think they're fanning out to my teammates when I do get down there. So, you know, it's opening lanes for me. But, uh, you know, just got to find ways to finish the game. Arthur, there were a lot of big shifts in the game. You guys scored 10 in a row, they scored 10 in a row. You guys get up by eight. They go on a twenty to two run. What? How tough is it when the games have such kind of violent shifts to kind of stay focused on the task at hand? Uh, I mean, it's not as hard to stay focused. Uh, you know, it's just a basketball game. Like other teams gonna make a run, you gonna make a run. It's like it's just a team that can limit those runs. I mean, we gave up an eighteen to two run, and uh, if you just think back on it, if, what if that run was? 15 to 2. We go into overtime, and if it was a 10 to 2 run, we win the game. Like, it's just little things, you know? We just got to be able to focus, get on to the next thing, stay even keeled throughout the whole game, not too high, not too low. Is this one staying more than any other loss this year? A loss is a loss, man. On to the next one. either one of you guys just what was coach's message after the game um it's a one game season um uh, got another big matchup in less than 48 hours i believe and so uh it's just another another stepping stone we gotta you know put this one in the box because we can't dwell on it and um carry it over into monday and so we gotta have the one on monday and uh you know just try to keep going Any other questions for these guys? Okay, thank you guys. For